guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Yvonne and this is Sticky May 17. My channel is all about cleaning information, inspiration and motivation and my life. So if you're interested, please like and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so that you're notified every Wednesday and Sunday at 10am when I upload a new video. As you've seen just in a very small clip, we got pulled over the, by the police and we're currently making our journey from Cape Town through to just past George. Um, and we're going to Brenton uh, on Sea, which we're staying at a place called Brenton on the Rocks. The journey from Cape Cape Town to this destination is approximately five and a half hours. We stopped about halfway through and we were down to half a tank. So we technically used a full tank of fuel. We have a Suzuki Sears. Um, I don't think we get this particular vehicle in the UK. It was a nice smooth run and you could see that the roads were changing from what we had in Cape Town. And it was also 30 degrees at 11 o'clock in the morning. Absolutely beautiful. So we're here now and I'm going to show you around our room. It is absolutely beautiful. The, the views and everything. This place is absolutely beautiful so we've got twin beds here radiator very very light and airy it is absolutely gorgeous I think it's huge I mean those look like super king length and then they've still got a fair distance between makes a huge difference from my um, bedroom at home and we've got a little kitchenette there and drawers, fridge, and ice. We need ice. We desperately need some ice. And it's clean. That's our water bottle over there. Little kitchenette microwave right now. Unfortunately, I had to go and pee quickly, but the toilet paper had this nicely stuck onto it. It was quite cute. Um, toilet, my penthouse, dirty toilet is clean. There's a bath, very echoey though, but hey ho. Toiletries provided, clean shower, absolutely no dirt on the shower floor. Basins clean, little amenities, and toiletries here. Even got earbuds. I think that is amazing, little shower cap. That is absolutely amazing. And again, this is probably not far off the size of my daughter's room. And then we got that. Look at that. We've got a super king size bed, fully fitted wardrobes. It has got a safety, uh, safety box safe type thing. That's going to annoy me. That picture is a bit skew. We've also got our own parking garage, DSTV, look at this view. Right, so we are around the beach from where we were last year. I mean, just look at that. It's very, very windy, I apologize. Bray facility, beach. I don't think you can walk down to the beach from here. I'm not sure. But like last year, we were just around that way, back to the Bottles Bay. Look at that. It's going to be lovely having breakfast outside in this. Yeah, so like that's our apartment. We are here for a week, so that is going to be gorgeous. The place is called Brenton on the Rocks, and it's a guest house. So as you can see, there is plenty of space in the garage, even with a car parked in the garage with the door down, there is plenty of room. It is a very good size. So that night we decided to go with family to Mr. Kai, and we obviously had to share a platter, and then we made our way back to the hotel. Oh, so we're sitting right in front of the beach. Yeah, it's super bright. Just had a shower. My hunter's gold. Listen to that. Absolutely beautiful. So we went for 
supper at Mr. Kai um, and we had a platter for two to share for three of us and it was way too much. <laughs> um, I think that was 698 rand. Drinks are not included uh, except for soft drinks. Um, and then we went down to the beach at Pili Pili and played on the sand for a bit while I watched the sunset. It was absolutely beautiful. We drove down from Cape Town. Uh, that was, it says about five hours 18, but it was in fact about eight hours because we did stop for lunch, uh, we stopped for the Wimpy, um, and we also had we stopped for the Wimpy, and then when we got into wilderness area, we went to pick and pay there and picked up our hunters and our parcel larger. We came here last year, around about the same time, and the roads were atrocious. Um, there's a lot of police presence and they're actually very active. And we did actually get called by a police officer. Um, and he just checked my license, checked the vehicle, and we were off on our way. And we were there for about, I don't even think, five minutes. So it was really good. There's the roads from Cape Town to George were incredible. There was less potholes than in the UK. Um, it was a very pleasant drive. Most of the roads are 120 mile, uh, kilometers an hour in England, not even miles. So it was a good run. And we've had, even though it took us like eight hours, it was a really good run and we're really pleased with um, how the day turned out. And it's been a really enjoyable day. We, there's a pool downstairs just behind me. And it's about, I don't know, 15 foot by 15 foot. It's heated. And I mean, it's like 30 degrees, that's so lovely. Um, and it's plenty big enough. There is, we can get down to the beach from here, but it is unsafe and it's a very big drop and there's a lot of stairs. So I'm going to enjoy my beer and that's going to be it for tonight. So, I'll see you in the next one. Bye! So as there's a lot of load shedding in this country, um, we decided to also get some torches as well as they will be handy for us in the UK. But as you can see, the distance on these torches that we've got, I'm not selling them or anything. They are on Amazon and I think I will have all the information um, in on the screen in a bit. But they are super, very, they're very, very bright. I think they're 26,000 lumens and the distance is a fair few kilometers but i'll i'll put it on the screen for you now but you can see how clear and bright it is and the fact that you can actually see like the end of the reach of the torch on the sea as well um and yeah it is just really incredible it's got an sos feature it's got a brightness feature it's also got like a zoom telescope type feature um yeah so that's enough about torches but i am very very impressed with it and as i said it's got a flashlight a strobe and an sos call as well so next i headed off to the department of home affairs to get my passport sorted out which i'm still waiting for and then of course we had to stop at mcdonald's for an ice cream and i will show you just in a second um how hot it is oh my goodness so you can see on my watch it's got a uv rate of 10 and it is 30 degrees and it's still early in the morning it is absolutely lovely so whilst we're lying in bed we can obviously have the full view of the sea and sun then we had to go down to the pool and catch some rays and then we went swimming so this is poppy now and you can see he's just standing there and you, he waits for you to splash him so that he can catch the water and cool down he never tried to get in the pool at all or anything and it was just really fun having the dog watching us and playing with the dog whilst we're in the pool so next we went down to Nisner Bay and we went to Spur for supper and within minutes the cloud cover had come over but we never really had any bad weather while we were down there we did have a thunderstorm during the night but it was absolutely beautiful we next um a couple of days later it was a bit drizzly and miserable but we headed over to the nice elephant park where we got to walk with Look, the elephants go. and then they're all lined up okay, and they gave us some instructions in order to stay, stay safe sort of not bend over in front of the elephants or anything like that and to keep our buckets behind our back and we were able to feed the elephants so that was really incredible our elephants so always our bucket of food on the back or on the side not expose your bucket in front these guys are very good kick the elephant so now 
bring food forward. Spread your bucket along the city. So we went to the little cafe there and I had a pulled something wrap, I can't remember, a chocolate milkshake which was very very nice um, and oh mine was a sticky rib wrap which wasn't that nice but it was okay, it filled the hole um, and then a sandwich and another wrap, uh, sorry a, a burger. Um, the food was okay there, it wasn't the greatest but to fill the gap that was absolutely fine. So now we're going to take a drive. This is a drive from the bay back to our residence and just some of the houses, just a quick glimpse of the location and how open the homes are where we are. So now, as you can see, the weather has turned a little bit. We're drying our towels outside, but there is a storm coming out in the distance and you can see there is a sailing yacht on the sea as well. So we went to a restaurant called Butterfly Blue. Um, this is on in Brenton on the Rocks. And I want to show you some of the area around and what the restaurant looks like. The food here was absolutely amazing. So whilst we are in South Africa enjoying 30 odd degree heat, sunshine, a little bit of rain in the evenings, this is what was going on back at home and did make me feel homesick. You may experience some very gusty winds and torrential rain on Thursday. That's because a cold front will sweep across the country, bringing a risk of squally winds and thunderstorms. We have rain and wind warnings in force for central and southern areas of England. That's because here it has been very wet already through February, and so the ground is well saturated. Just Wednesday's rain alone has brought 68 millimetres of rain to parts of Devon, which is over 60% of the average February rainfall. So that means that any further rainfall will likely cause some flooding and travel disruption. So the best thing to do if you're heading out on Thursday is keep an eye on the forecast and check before you travel. Mm -hmm. 